You may not know, but I am a huge horror fan. It's a hell of a sledding hill there. Here's Laura doing amazing feats. Whoa! Holy crap, babe! Gary and I are here at Timberline Lodge in the Mount Hood National Forest. I purposely wanted to come here because you may not know, but I am a huge horror fan. Timberline Lodge was the backdrop for the movie The Shining. You always hear about the actual Stanley Motel in Colorado, but I didn't realize that this is the lodge where they filmed outdoor. So, really excited to see that. <coughs> Gary just comes along for the ride on that one, so yep. yeah. Not as much of a horror fan, but I made him watch the movie last night before coming here. Just because, you know, you got to get into the, the, the feel of it. No. Here's Johnny. <laughs> The hotel was charming. They have a lot of history in the building and they shared that on the inside. If you're in the area, it's worth a visit. The hotel rooms, on the other hand, were a bit out of our price range. That, and it's not haunted, so what's the fun in that? And now it's time to get back on a trail. So we decided to pick a beautiful portion of the PCT right here by Timberline Lodge with an epic view of Mount Hood. Wow. Talk about amazing surround views. It's a heck of a view. Right? Yeah, we're going to walk on the Pacific Ocean. Okay. Just for a little while. And we can obviously see the cell towers, but these black things, I have no idea what those are. Do you know what they are? If you do know, let us know in the comments, because that is weird. Wow. It just is, you can't get, you can't, that, does, that, that doesn't, that doesn't get old. I can't talk. Words are hard. For all the people, um, all the cars in the parking lot, we haven't seen a lot of people. No. Which is nice. The scent of pine is in the air. Alright, so we're coming down this way. This trail and then we go all around there. It's a pretty awesome hike so far. Look at that guy, he's got one heck of a meal there. <laughs> it's a hell of a sledding hill there. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get back up for sure. To the end. 
<laughs> it does look like you just go whoop, right over. That is for some serious snow. Holy cow. The trout river. Well, we successfully, successfully, six, 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 but I struggled for a while as we I struggled to too talking. Well, we made it off our first hike in maybe two months. Two months. Yeah, that was a that, that was a good warm up. It was a good warm up. Holy cow! It was five miles. It was five, two and a half miles downhill, and then five, two and a half miles up all the way uphill. Ah. Morning. Uh, my first ah. thing is the RV Miles podcast coming on at inappropriate times, but good podcast. Today we got up a little early, at least earlier than normal, and we're heading to a hike today. We are going to Ramona Falls. It's about a seven and a half mile hike, moderate, uh, but uh, from what I understand, the views are supposed to be really good. We saw online that the that the roads were really, really bad. I don't, I guess I don't consider this really bad. Yes, there's lots of potholes and you gotta go slow. 1,000 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Well, maybe this is probably a, maybe what they were talking about. It's, it's honestly not bad if you're not driving 20 miles an hour. We, we've been down some dirt roads that are worse than this. Yeah. I mean, most of it's paved, so. Although this would be fun with the camper. Way the wonky thing. But it... oh. What? You make all sorts of free Well, I mean, you know, when my stomach comes out of my throat, it gets a little challenging. Although it didn't happen this time. Oh. Out of service. Passes camera. Oh. Oh no. Alrighty. Okay. It's folly. Rivery? Watery. Here's Laura doing amazing feats. Showing us how it's done. The Forest Service does a nice job of coming in and making the trail neat. But a lot of blowdowns. My guesses were close. Oh, the air, the breeze coming off, it is so nice and cool.
or it's just weather coming in. Yeah. Still very pretty. We weren't kidding about coming to this hike early. Holy cow. That was a lot of cars. Considering there's only five cars when we pulled in. Yeah. Quite a few. Well, we have completed the Ramona Falls Trail. It was yes. a, somewhere between 7.3 and 7.8. I don't know. My Mine Woo! said 7.3. His said 7.8. I walked further. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I walked in some circles. Okay. I, no. A great trail. Uh, definitely yeah, enjoyed really it. It was a good trail. Uh, it was a moderate trail. I mean, there were some rocks and some twigs, but other than that, it was fairly... Yeah. fairly straightforward so the beginning was a bit rough because the sun was bright on you and it kind of wore me down but uh, the rest of the trail was awesome yeah, and there was a few blow down trees because then I mean, you're in the direct sunlight because there's no tree block there's quite a few folks here at uh in the afternoon so definitely get here early well i think we got a bee in our bonnet last night and decided to do one more hike while we're at mount hood yep and we decided to go for a full eight miles, nine miles. No, why not? It'd be fun. So, yeah, we're going to be going to see Mirror Lake and Tom, Dick, and Harry's Mountain. So, we'll see how that works. Hey, little guy. How you doing? How you doing? Crazy squirrel. <laughs> Gary decided to get some new shoes. The truck got new shoes. I can get new shoes. That is true. That yep. is true. We went to REI to get them because these are the, uh, what are these called? Solomon something. Quest. Quest I got 4D. Oh, look at that. Oh, Same. yeah. Work it. Work it. Oh, yeah. Uh, they They're didn't have for... the right size for Gary, so we ended up getting them at Sportsman's Warehouse, which is also a good place to get Yeah. That. We do try to frequent REI because they have a great return policy there. We're stripping already. It's not even a mile in. This is typical though of us. Oh, it's better to be overdressed than underdressed. Yes, yes. I even had to take my hat off. Lots of stickers. Mirror Lake Loop, Tom, Dick, and Harry Mountain. Right, we're going that way. Well, you know, I don't I'm going to follow this. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm always right. Salmon Huckleberry Wilderness. Whoa! Holy crap, babe! Wow! Okay, that was a, a little bit of a surprise coming out of that. That is so sweet. Even on a cloudy day, it looks really good. Oh, he's not happy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Maybe it's not a big boulder field. Maybe it's just a giant cairn. Huh. That is very strange. It's a giant cairn. You guys are just everywhere. Look at him. You're just totally what showing you, off what now. Did you find there, critter, critter. <laughs> wow. Oh. Holy cow.
<laughs> oh my gosh, babe. Holy cow. Wow. Important stuff. Get rid of trash, eat trash. <laughs> we are supposed to be, uh, yeah, we all right. I ain't too worried. Okay, we were about 15 minutes late, but better than, you know. No, it was 10 minutes. 10 minutes late? 10 minutes. Okay, so 10, 10 minutes, minutes, not too bad. And we did get stopped by a neighbor. Yeah, you can't be rude. No, no, that would be awful. So, but well, the campground was good, clean. Yeah, um, got our tanks flushed really well, and now we are full with water and ready for our next adventure. Yes, we are. All ready right. to roll. Yep, let's get going. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope to see you next week as we continue to explore the eastern part of Oregon on our way back east. See you on the next trail. It's a very big river. It's like the Illinois River, but cleaner. <laughs>